Welcome everybody to this installment of Red Cape Sports. Today, I got some PSA cards back. Um, it's been a little while, but we're gonna go over these cards in this episode. So before we kick things off, I just want to give a shout out to Nico to celebrate the fact that I've been waiting and we got all these beautiful PSA cards in. Um, I couldn't find an Arturo Fuente cigar, but I did pick up uh, my favorite. So I'm going to be smoking a Hoya Antano. So a beautiful cigar. Um, and again, if you're a kid, don't smoke cigars. Uh, make sure you're at least 13 years old. So let's get right to it. Let's go over um, some of the PSA cards. Now, one card I left at home because I wanted to make sure I didn't sell it. And several of these cards I've already sold and a couple are on eBay as well. So let's get right to it. And my PC card, um, which I spent only 120 or $130 on, this Mike Tyson Question of Sports card. And we got a PSA 9. Just a gorgeous card. I absolutely love Mike Tyson. And this is a card I picked up uh, months ago. We even did an episode on it. I told you this was a card that I deemed undervalued. 20 or $40 to grade this between there. Um, so I'm in at about 150 bucks. This card sells for around 13 to $1,500 Canadian. So just a beautiful card. And I believe there's still more out there. Um, I just wanted this for my PC. So again, I'm very bullish on Mike Tyson. A lot of things are still happening with him. When people look back on Mike Tyson, they will um, note that he was um, one of the greats, one of the greatest boxers and one of the greatest personalities. So the next cards on the list, these are going to be some Red Cheek Shadowless Pikachus. Now I did get three of these, but I left one at home. And in fact, these cards have already sold. Um, so if you're watching this video, I am going to ship these cards. I just wanted to do an episode on them. Um, if you don't know the quick story, um, I picked these up for $5 a piece and on the back, yep, $450. That's kind of the value. I ended up selling them for um, just over $800, so about $865. So um, I did pay to grade them. I would say that I'm in similar to that card, around $147, and I profited um, over $700 on these cards. So. Um, red cheek Pikachu's not too many out there. If you look there is a red cheek on it That's why it says red cheek. Um, it is an error card and this is a very rare card if you don't know a lot about Pokemon um, uh, Shadowless in general is a very rare card. This is the first um, Pikachu the original Pikachu, you know with the nine grade on it Shadowless so there's no shadow here So this was one of the first print runs not first edition Shadowless but Shadowless and has the red cheek, so it's an error printing card. So we got two of those, and yeah, I've been I've been really happy and excited um, about these cards. Um, I have more coming in, and I have to do a quick shout out, of course, to Frank um, at FNC House of Cards. If you guys haven't checked out his store, it's in Windsor, Ontario. I believe he can do curbside pickup. If you're looking for specific cards, specifically um, hockey, basketball, baseball, he's got so much of that stuff. Um, give him a shout. I just want to say thank you to Frank. A few months ago, I was able to do a couple submissions with him. So again, thank you, Frank, for allowing us. If you guys haven't checked it out, FNC House of Cards. Um, give the guy a call if you have questions and check out his store. He's got a really good store. Um, I'm sure when COVID goes away, you'll be able to go in, but he does have product. So check out FNC House of Cards. Now the next card, which is on eBay right now. So if you're watching this, the listing may be done already, um, but I'm looking to get about 750 for this card. So this is a base set Charizard Spanish, and we ended up getting a PSA 7, that's what Frank predicted. And I put 600 on the back because that's what I want to get at least out of this deal. I like to typically at least 2X my money, whereas the Pikachu, I did much greater than that. Um, I was fortunate. Um, this card I thought was a base um, English edition. Um, it wasn't until I got the card 
and it took five months to get this. I believe Kevin's still waiting on one. I bought this card months and months ago. I'll even show the listing. If I can on all these cards, I'll show the listing. And I got this card for, I believe around 300 bucks Canadian. And um, you know, it was in one of those very thick plastics with the screws in it. And I'm like, you know what? I'll take a risk on this. I can at least break even. And if it's better, I'll send it in for grading. And you know, even if it doesn't work out the way I want, I can at least recoup my money. So I like risks like that. So I really assess the situation. I'm like, even if this comes out damaged, it's still a Charizard. It's still a base set Charizard and we got a seven. So this already has a $500 bid. So I'm already nearing a 50% return. So that's gonna be the next card. So, so far we got the Mike Tyson Charizard and I do have three red cheek Pikachus. I'm gonna keep one of them because I only paid five bucks for it, but I did pay a lot to grade it. And this card, which somebody is going to be picking up at five o'clock today. Right now it's about 3.30, so I better hurry up. Um, this card, um, when I did grade it, um, Tyler Hero was in the finals against the Lakers. Unfortunately, LeBron um, ended up, you know, being LeBron and beat him up in the finals. So um, this is behind the back. I pulled this from um, a Prism sealed case I bought. That was the first time I ever spent like 200 bucks for a sealed product, which was, you know, looking back at it, I probably should have kept it sealed. But this card was going to sell for a lot like the Pokemon, but the market's kind of gone down. Um, but anyways, great card. And I sold this for $225 Canadian. Um, I got what I wanted from it. Um, I'm going to get that cash at five o'clock today. Um, and yeah, I mean, beautiful card. If I was a Tyler Hero fan, I would definitely keep it. If this was a, you know, Zion card, I would keep it. But to me, I just wanted to send it in so I could sell it and make some profit. So let's go over the next two cards and we'll just show them at the same time. A um, couple more Pokemon. And we are going to be doing another episode similar to this because I do have four Fernando Tatis Jr. Uh, Chrome cards. So Topps Chromes. I'm hoping they get nines as well. Maybe a 10, that would be incredible. Again, a very good pick. Again, so the idea for these cards that I submitted, um, including Tatis, which I may not sell right away, um, I wanted to grade cards that I could um, get back and sell relatively quickly. So PSA is backed up, so um, couldn't do much about that. But these are 1999 base set Pokemon Shadowless. We got two PSA nines and beautiful cards. So we got a War Turtle. Um, who evolves into Blastoise. We also have a Charmeleon who evolves into Charizard. So beautiful cards. Um, yeah, I think I put about 250 for these cards about. So I'm going to sell these probably um, after Logan Paul um, opens up those uh, boxes. And again, just beautiful cards. Again, we got the Charizard, the Mike Tysons, and so many others. I hope you enjoyed this installment. Wanted to keep it short and sweet show you the cards. Let me know in the comments below if you've been waiting on PSA submitted cards. Also put down in the comments below if you've been picking up other cards. I would love to know. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to be doing tons of content this year as promised. And as well, don't forget, you can also join our Facebook group. That's going to be at Red Cape Sports. There you can post, share, sell all of your sports cards that you wish. Um, and we would love to see you there. So I'm going to get going. I got to smoke a cigar, um, ship out these cards and yeah, we're doing it up this year.